So I was looking through my videos the other day and I was trying to see what videos I still really want to do for my channel. I haven't done one specifically on animal testing yet and to me I think that I really need to get that. I, I really think I need to do a video like that um, because a lot of people you know will kind of glaze over the top topic about why animal testing is bad in cosmetics and um, why we should avoid it, why we should buy cruelty free products but we don't really go into exactly what happens to the animals and I feel like I need to be a voice for them and I need to tell you guys exactly what happens to them and I'm going to show um, graphic pictures in this video. If you're buying products that are tested on animals, you you have to see what's actually happening to them. You have to take accountability and responsibility for the products that you buy and what you're contributing to and what you're supporting. And I'm not saying anybody's a bad person. I'm not trying to judge anybody. Like I used to use products that were tested on animals too before I was aware, before I was educated about the, the topic. So that's what I'm here to do. It, this issue is very near and dear to my heart is the reason I started my channel. So I really feel like I need to make a video specifically talking about what happens to animals during animal testing. So yes, there will be graphic pictures in this video. Yes, I will be talking about graphic material. Um, but I honestly think you should sit through this and watch this, especially if you are buying from brands that test on animals, like, and even third party testing, things like that, you need to be aware. If you watch my channel for a while, you know about third party testing, but I want to bring it up again for my new subscribers, um, any new viewers that haven't been made aware of this issue. Just because a company says they're cruelty free does not mean they're cruelty free, does not mean they do not have their products tested on animals. What you need to look, look for and what you need to ask the company specifically is if they specifically test their products and their ingredients on animals. You can't just ask if they test their, their finished products because a lot of times what they'll do is they will have their ingredients tested through another third party source and then they themselves will not test the finished product. They just test the ingredients through a different source. So legally they can say they are, they are a cruelty free company because they officially are not the ones that are doing the test. Big companies that do this um, are Mac and all the Estee Lauder brands. They are infamous for doing this. Um, it even says if you look on Estee Lauder's animal testing policy, it says that they don't test unless required by law. And I'm going to bring that up in this video. It is not required by law for companies to test their products on animals. Um, I will get into that. So when Estee Lauder says that, essentially they're full of crap and they are doing some kind of animal testing or else they wouldn't have to disclose that um, in their statement. So, um, and the same thing with companies that buy out other companies. Um, good examples of this. OPI was recently bought out by, I believe it's Cody, Cody Airspun. Um, they are still known for doing animal testing. They were bought out in January of this year. So OPI is not a cruelty-free brand. You have to look and see what companies own what companies. Like Shiseido owns a lot of companies now. They bought out Bare Minerals. Um, so if you've been buying Bare Minerals as a vegan, um, they were bought out by Shiseido earlier this year as well. So they are not a cruelty free company anymore and a lot of people still think that they are. So um, I try to keep on top of that as good as I can and that is why I have my website and I have this channel because everybody lets me know things too. Like this is a forum. Like this isn't just my information. This is information that I'm learning and getting through my subscribers too because I think that is the best way to get the information is to group together, band together, and to help each other and to do the research together. There are two main forms of animal testing in the cosmetic industry. and I'm not going to get into all the animal testing in, um, in medicine and all of that because it's, this video will be like 40 minutes long. I, I want to stick to what my channel is about. Um, but I feel like, especially with cosmetics, there is no reason that we need to test on animals at all. There is absolutely no reason. Um, cosmetics are purely fun, purely for aesthetic purposes. They are not life and death items that we need like medicine. So there's no reason whatsoever to continue any form of animal testing on cosmetic ingredients, products, anything. So. Um, anybody that still does this is outdated and they're wrong and this video is going to explain why. We're going to get into the two main types of animal testing that are still being done and these are specifically for cosmetic animal testing. Link in the down bar where I get my information from. 
Um, there's lots of different sites that have the same information. I have done a lot of research. This one just basically sums it up really well. But all the information is accurate from all the different sources I have researched over the years. So um, this is the basic rundown of what animal testing is going on. Um, in the Dre's test, it says caustic substances are placed in the eyes of conscious rabbits to evaluate damage to sensitive eye tissues. This is extremely painful for the rabbits who often scream when the substances are applied and sometimes break their necks or backs trying to escape the restraints. So I'm going to put a couple pictures here of the restraints they put the rabbits in and exactly what happens to their eyes and it's just, it's really disturbing. So. It's really, it really upsets me um, to see them in those kind of conditions and those restraints. Can you imagine having your head locked in a clamp-like device all day long just so someone can pour toxic chemicals into your eyes and that's your life? Like, are you serious? Like, that is why that animal was put on the earth so that we could wear mascara, so that we could wear eyeshadow. It is not right and it is not okay that we're still doing this. Um, the other tests that they do are something called the lethal dosage test, and it is what it sounds like. They force animals to ingest poisonous chemicals, toxic chemicals, until they die. So they measure how much it takes for them to die. And another reason this stuff makes me mad, um, they're not just doing it for one company. Like It's not like they're sharing the research. All these separate companies are doing their own separate research, but maybe the same ingredients, maybe the same kind of formulas. Instead of sharing the research they're doing, they, since they're in it for economic purposes, they are hiding that information from other companies. So yeah, lethal dosage tests are basically, they're forced to ingest poisonous substances through stomach tubes, vapor spray inhalers, or injection um, until half of them die. Common reactions to LD tests include convulsions, vomiting, paralysis, and bleeding from the eyes, nose, mouth, or rectum. I also want to get into why animal testing isn't always 100% accurate even when they do these tests. Um, a lot of times they'll have to redo them hundreds of times before they can get the answer they want. Or even if they do these tests, sometimes they still have to be tested on humans anyway so that they're safe to be sold commercially. So essentially like they're killing all these animals and then they're still testing them on people. So it's, it's so unnecessary to me. Basically, we're all different species, so if you test on a rat, humans are not going to have the same reactions that a rat or a rabbit or a cat or a dog would have because we are different species, we have different DNA, we have different reactions to different things. So um, these tests are not accurate. There are scientists that are working towards ending animal testing and um, a good organization to support and to learn more about is um, Center for Alternatives to Animal Testing. Some information about them, the Johns Hopkins Center for Alternatives to Animal Testing is a small nonprofit center. A part of the Johns Hopkins University Bloomberg School of Public Health, we are dedicated to improving, improving health for both people and animals. We promote humane science by supporting the creation, development, validation, and use of alternatives to animals in research, product safety testing, and education. We seek to effect change by working with scientists and in industry, government, and acad academia to find new ways to replace animals with non-animal methods, reduce the numbers of animals necessary, or refine methods to make them less painful or stressful to the animals involved. So um, it's like not a 100% perfect organization, but I really feel like they're trying to support um, the ending of animal testing and I really do want to work with scientists that are trying to do something like I'm not against scientists like some people think that like I'm kind of you know crazy in my idealism or something but I'm realistic I know that um, animal testing isn't going to end overnight in the whole entire field I think in cosmetics it can very easily it does not need to happen um, for cosmetics whatsoever and you know, organizations like this are trying to end it in other areas and medical testing as well. So we need to support that and we need to make them know there's a demand for this by not purchasing things that are tested on animals and doing the best we can to get their get the information out there for people 
to educate, to inform, and to be a voice for animals. That's what we need to do. I found so many great brands just from, you know, limiting myself in the drugstore and other places. Like, I honestly love Urban Decay products. Um, their matte eyeshadows are some of the best I've ever used. Um, you know, making my own cosmetics, I really, I feel passionate about that. I feel like I can make really good cosmetics and it doesn't have to cost a fortune and it doesn't have to hurt animals. And there's so many independent companies out there that are doing the same thing. Um, it's good to support those people and it's good to, su to support independent businesses and people that are struggling in this economy. So um, instead of supporting CoverGirl, support some Etsy artisans, support some people that really need your help and that are trying to do the ethical thing by not contributing to animal testing and by making vegan products. So this is not something casual. This is something that happens every day. I'm going to list some facts too at the end of, of actual statistics of how many animals are killed um, for animal testing every year and it's it's frightening. It's it's a lot more than you would think. So um, let's, let's do our part and end it in any way we can through our own purchases.